I'll start here with Jeff, and then we'll go to Jim Utter. For Jessica, um, it sounds like, I mean, from people we talked to, the traffic concerns never really materialized. People got here early enough, I guess, or what, what do you think, what, what, how do you attribute that success to? Uh, definitely a planning. Um, from the day we decided that we were gonna have the all-star race here, we got on the horn with everybody we could um, locally and just had countless meetings brought in uh, some of our folks, the best in the business from Las Vegas Motor Speedway and then Charlotte Motor Speedway and Bristol Motor Speedway and just kind of brainstormed. Uh, we, we worked with Waze, which is something that we had never done before uh, to come up with specific routes. So we, if you were parking a certain lot, we wanted you to go that way and not have everybody come up through one main artery. So that was really successful, something that we'll probably replicate at other facilities uh, now that we've seen it work. and. Um, it just a lot of town meetings a lot of every monday morning we would have a, a meeting with with all the mayors and the town managers from from both towns there's two mayors there's two town managers city council and just constant communication uh, and making sure that they knew everything that we were doing meetings with the, all the neighbors um, it, i mean i think communication was the key absolutely okay let's go to jim jim Utter, motorsport.com marcus i know it's really early but is there a place for North Wilkesboro in the SMI schedule of NASCAR events next season? Um, it's, it's a question that's on my mind as well. I think that when you see a successful week of events like we've had here, it's, it's natural to think, boy, maybe we could come back here. Um, so I'm definitely thinking that way, uh, that, it's, that it's got a lot of potential. I. Um, you know, I've never been to a NASCAR week where everybody was in such a good mood and uh, and everything was just going so well. Um, so it's definitely, you know, something that, that we're thinking about. Um, we, we just started working on next year's schedule with NASCAR, so um, we'll see. I think that, you know, I'm not speaking to next year specifically, I do think that there's definitely, you know, place uh, in the NASCAR world for North Wilkesboro Speedway. And, um, you know, whether it's a special event like All-Star, maybe one day it's a points event, I don't know. Um, I think it's a very important place for, um, for you know, short track racing. The, the late model races, the modifieds, um, you name it. This is a, it's a special place. It's like walking into a museum that's active and living and uh, and very special for the competitors and the fans alike. Okay. All right, let's go to Bob and then we'll go to Greg. Chris, Fox Sports. Uh, Marcus, so do you, are you gonna have to repave before you have another event? And if so, is there still any thoughts of just making it dirt? Um, great question. And uh, you know, so uh, it depends on who you ask. I talked with Daryl Waltrip earlier before um, before the race, and he said you got to repave this thing. And uh, I talked with um, uh, the King, and he said uh, let him race on this on this old pavement. Um, so th there's a there are a lot of different ways to think about it. I think that um, for the, what I think is that our, our team has done an amazing job at preserving the track, keeping it together. Um, they've learned some new things on the surface and kind of managing it, keeping it together and creating um, a, a really uh, varied surface that I think challenges the teams. So um, it'll be interesting to see how it, how it uh, weathers and when it needs to be repaved or repave it, I think um, I would lean towards not repaving until we absolutely have to. And Marcus, even as we've seen at Atlanta, the technology now with with a repave is different than what it used to be, and the percentage yes. can be different. So, well, our, yeah, our our goal in the next repave is to pre, is to present a track that where the asphalt surface is not uh, like a, a parking lot surface. Um, you know, our our paving goal is totally different than uh, what asphalt is actually made for in paving. Um, a, a parking lot or a street, you want it to last for a super long time, you want it to be very smooth. We, um, I, I don't mind how long it lasts, I, I really want it to come out of the, of the box racing really well. So we'll see how, um, how it works and I'm sure uh, after tonight we'll have some more data and, and look at uh, what's next. Let's go to Greg. Greg Engel Forbes. It's kind of along the same line. We keep peppering you with almost the same thing. But I was talking to fans today. There was one guy in particular. He lives five miles from this track. 
he grew up around this track um, and he was walking around and he, and he was in tears and 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 I said uh, you know he, he said we're proud you know we can go to Darlington we can go to Charlotte we can go to others but those aren't our tracks this is our track and we're proud of it yeah and and so obviously we can't sit here and say tonight we'll be back next year for the all-star but what's the immediate future for this track is it cars uh, tour that kind of thing you know what can we tell these guys that that live close to here and are so pumped up about the immediate future of this track yeah that's great I, it, it's a real um, People have talked about how special this is. Um, thousands of people have said to me, you know, you have no idea what this means to our community. Um, so I think we all kind of feel that, you know, this this is a special place and a special event and it's because uh, of this rebirth opportunity. And, uh, you know, it's, it's never happened before that you've taken a, uh, a sporting venue and left it for dead and it's been revived. Uh, it's a true Lazarus story, and uh, so I, I intersected with with a number of those fans that, that had a similar story. And uh, for for everybody, I would say this place is going to have racing um, on the calendar in in the very near future. Um, I have had great conversations with um, with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Kevin Harvick about you know what what could we do here with the Cars Tour. Um, I think that. Like I said earlier, this place is special for not just the fans, but the competitors alike. And uh, in fact, when I was having that conversation with Daryl Walter and, and the King, they asked me, now how old is this is this payment again? And I said it was 84. Uh, and they both looked at each other and said, we raced on this track. <laughs> but what a cool thing, you know, for every race car driver out there to race on the same surface as Richard Petty and Daryl Walter and a bunch of other legends. Um, we want to make that available for a lot of racers that uh, will come from all over the country to be here. Thank you, Philly. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.